Hi, I'm Tom Bailey. We're at a climate crisis. Our planet is dying and we're still on track to total biosphere collapse, according to all the scientific research. We can't put a date on it, but currently that's where we're heading. But it doesn't have to be this way. We still have some time to act. And according to the UN, we've nine years to make changes in our global situation. Every country needs to do its part and we must all work towards the same goal of stabilising our one and only home. In New Zealand, the CCC has just released its first report, which outlines how on track New Zealand is to keeping its global agreements. Firstly, we're not on track at all. In fact, we are the second worst of the 43 Annex II countries. We've been one of the few to actively increase our emissions. So clean and green New Zealand? Not really, and not for a long time, and currently heading towards dirty and brown New Zealand, especially in our rivers. Our agricultural emissions are the highest per capita in the world. We're borrowing from a future that doesn't exist. So we have to act now and make some difficult choices. The CCC said we must reduce our total ruminant herds by 15%. That would be a great start. We probably need to do more and we should do all that we can. The good news is that all the solutions are out there now. We don't have to wait for new technology to save us. We can make those changes now and we can save ourselves. So New Zealand must continue to do what New Zealand does best, which is to produce high quality food for ourselves and for our global neighbours. We have a wealth of knowledge here. We've always been a nation of pioneers. From when the first waka landed to the first whaling ships, we've always been adaptable. That's in our nature too. And when the whaling was banned, New Zealand whalers turned their skills to other things. And it's time for us to do the same thing again. Animal agriculture is a major driver of climate change. Biodiversity loss, deforestation, and it uses huge resources in terms of land and water resources that would be more efficiently used to grow plants and feed directly to humans instead of going through animals. We could recoup around five sixths of the land currently used in animal agriculture and use only a third of the water and grow plants to eat. Plants which do not produce methane and in fact suck up carbon dioxide, giving us life-giving oxygen instead. The great news is that there's a lot of arable land here in New Zealand that is not being utilised. We want our farmers to make the most of their land, to grow crops where they can and reforest the native bush where they cannot. We're calling on the government to help our farmers to reduce their herds and increase their plant growing if they can. They need to know what crops they can grow on their land and they need help to make the transition and diversify their output. The truth is that the meat industry will soon be no more, in less than a decade. It's predicted by the economists and it's due to the increasing advances made in lab-grown meat. They're reducing in cost every year and it won't be long before they're cheaper than animal meats. So we need to stay on top of the game, look ahead to the future and move with the times. If we want a sustainable future for our children and grandchildren, we'll be making those changes now and sign the petition. Let's support our farmers all that we can. Thanks very much.